Welcome and thank you for joining us for the Western Michigan University Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine 2021 graduation from your homes across the globe. I'm Dr. Peter Zimkowski, Associate Dean for Student Affairs. It's my privilege to be your host. On behalf of Dean Paula Termulin, Dean Emeritus Hal Jensen, the Medical School Board of Directors, Associate Deans, Assistant Deans, Department Chairs, and the faculty, it's my honor to welcome you all and to thank you for joining us today for the fourth commencement of Western Michigan University Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine. Our decision to come together virtually was made to ensure the health and safety of our graduates, family, friends, and the WMED community as the global health crisis, COVID-19, remains with us. I thank you for welcoming us into your worlds virtually today. Before we get started, I'd like to take a minute to recognize and thank those who are on the front lines working to keep our communities safe and healthy. Physicians, residents, fellows, nurses, medical students, and other care providers are doing the very best they can to provide the highest quality care to patients who are facing this new disease. These same individuals, along with community health professionals and volunteers, are leading the efforts to vaccinate all of us so we can eradicate COVID-19, so we can return to our pre-pandemic lives. Today, we recognize you and thank you for your relentless commitment, hard work, and dedication. It's now, during this pandemic, that we are reminded that being a physician can be a challenging career, but one of the most rewarding. As the Associate Dean for Student Affairs, I've had the pleasure of working alongside these graduates, both in the classroom and in the clinic. I'm impressed with not only the leaders and physicians you've become in the last four years, but also the people you are today. The last year has required sacrifice and putting the needs of others above yourself. We at WMED want to thank you for your feedback, patience, and grace as we've made necessary adjustments. I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank the guests who join us today and know that while today's ceremony may look a bit different than a traditional commencement, your support, even today, will be remembered by your students and the WMED community. Thank you. Now, I'd like to introduce the new Dean of Western Michigan University Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine, Dr. Paula Termulin. Dr. Termulin started her career with WMED just two weeks ago on May 1st. She's the successor for our founding Dean, Hal B. Jensen, who's retired after 10 years leading WMED. Welcome, Dr. Termulin. Thank you, Pete. Good afternoon, and welcome to our family, friends, and faculty who are with us today to recognize our graduates of 2021. At a typical graduation, you would see a large stage with members of the board, medical school deans, and department chairs. While we may not be together physically, and I am new in my role, please know that I speak on behalf of the WMED leadership in welcoming you all here today and sending congratulations to our graduates. Commencement is a momentous day for everyone. We especially welcome all of the family and friends who are with us virtually and thank you for the support that you've provided, which has been essential to the success of our students. Thank you all for joining us today on this very joyous occasion. The medical school mission is clear to educate and inspire lifelong learners to be exceptional clinicians leaders, educators, advocates, and researchers. It is this commitment to excellence by WMED and the Kalamazoo community that attracted me to WMED to serve as your new dean. I expect that it's the same reason why you chose WMED. The challenges of today, specifically the COVID pandemic and the impact of racism in our society, reinforce the need for you as future physicians and scientists to bring our clear mission to life. The world needs exceptional clinicians to treat and heal the sick. The world needs exceptional leaders to lead our healthcare teams, healthcare institutions, and most importantly, to lead us forward. The world needs exceptional educators who are committed to lifelong learning and inspiring future learners. The world needs exceptional advocates for patients, the underserved, the medical profession, and each other. The world needs exceptional researchers to discover cures that will ease suffering. We fulfill our mission through the careers and good works of our graduates. 
It is my honor and privilege to offer my congratulations to you, our graduates, on the successful completion of the rigorous curriculum that our faculty has developed to ensure your success in your chosen careers. Today, we are conferring degrees to medical students and graduate students from the Master of Science in Biomedical Sciences program and the Master of Science in Medical Engineering program. And perhaps more importantly, I congratulate our graduates on their choice to enter the healthcare professions. The global pandemic and the racism that is paralyzing the health and well being of so many only further shines a light on the need for competent and compassionate physicians, biomedical scientists, and medical engineers. Among all of the many endeavors that you could have selected as a career, congratulations on making a choice that will have such a profound impact on individuals and the communities where you will live. Together, we celebrate the success of our graduates today and into the future. Now I'd like to welcome Jesse Chow, who was selected by his peers to speak today on behalf of the class of 2021. Jesse earned an undergraduate degree from Amherst College. He'll be completing his residency training in plastic surgery from the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, Virginia. Thank you, Dr. Zimkowski. Let me be the third to congratulate the Western Michigan University Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine class of 2021. Wherever you may be, scattered across the continental US and Taylor on his way to Hawaii, it is an honor to be chosen as the student speaker for today. Today, we join the ranks of Dr. Anthony Fauci, Dr. Atul Gawande, and the spiciest of all, Dr. Pepper. I can't believe we finally made it. This day could not have come too soon. I checked my loan balance the other day and I did the math. I can't afford to stay here a day longer. I was also starting to develop a severe case of rheumatoid senioritis. I think many would agree that our time here has been priceless in many ways. And since I'm going into plastic surgery, which is partly about good looks, I have three for you. If you'll indulge me, I'll try to help us look back, look around, and look forward. All of these with a few small requests or recs for you to appreciate, as it were. Looking back, this has been a truly special place to spend four years, namely for one reason. For all of you that have gone on a virtual interview, you know what I'm gonna say, it's the people. We've been through it all together, Clearview, Clearview again, old innovations, new innovations, that new new innovations, and the holy grail of Elantra. As a class, if you look back, four years is a long time, but it flew right on by. I even heard some of you have residencies shorter than that. Must be nice. As a class, we've seen four couples get engaged, three have gotten married already, We've had five kids. Those numbers are made up, but you get the idea. Many of us attended Lucy's Zoom wedding a couple months ago. What a year. I always thought she was gonna have a traditional wedding in TBL1 with the reception in TBL2 with donut halls and food in the student commons. Of course, on a more serious note, we've also had great losses. I lost my own uncle during our second year and I remember it being devastating. I appreciate the friends that stepped in to help me with what I needed at the time and I feel lucky to have been surrounded by good people. As a class, these four years have been difficult. We've lost parents, friends, and other important figures in our lives who helped shape us into who we are today and who no doubt would be very proud of us on this special day. So as we go on, we remember all the times we've spent together as our lives change from whenever. I hope that we'll all still be friends forever. And our faculty, our faculty, they devote themselves to teaching us, mentoring us and stay one. You know it's gonna be a good four years when it starts with the warm, welcoming presence of Dr. Garrow. He and the rest of our faculty made not only lecture PowerPoints, but also iBooks with multiple ways to learn more. I think if you really wanna get a sense of how far we've come, I'm sure we could ask any of our scholar advisors, the faculty dedicated to teaching our preclinical doctrine classes, we got to watch us fumble our ways through the physical exam for the first time, percuss abdomens for the first time, meticulously test each and every cranial nerve, at least two through 12, and never cranial nerve one. Additionally, the staff at WMED have been fantastic. As someone with bad time management, I spent many late nights at the school and got to know Rhonda, Jennifer, John, 
and many other staff that keep our campus running day in and day out. A special shout out to Sussy for the fourth year students. And thank you to the security guards for keeping us safe from all those people roaming around Kalamazoo playing Pokemon Go. And finally, the patients and community members of Kalamazoo have welcomed us, students very warmly, and have been some of our greatest educators. As the Harvard of Kalamazoo and a 40 mile radius, I think there was a concern that WMED might be in some sort of ivory tower. But from what I've seen time and time again, the community has been welcoming to medical students and many partnerships have led to mutual benefit and learning for all. I really do have to thank the patients themselves, every patient willing to talk to the medical student and tell their story to the medical student, then to the resident, and then finally to the attending, saving all the juicy details for the attending. Um, a sincere thanks to the people of Kalamazoo and Marshall and Dwajak and the other family medicine clinical sites we all go out to for allowing us to play a small part in their health care. So to my classmates, my small request to you as we finish looking back is to send a gratitude message or two, not only to your letter writers, but anyone in the WMED community who helped make WMED a special community every day. So after a moment spent looking back, let us now look around. By looking around, what I really mean is enjoying this moment. I'll tell you what Dr. Munene would tell me whenever I had a green week or a psychiatry rotation. This is the most free you'll ever be. Enjoy it. I think he's right. This moment of freedom will pass quickly. Many of you may not know this, but I spent a year doing a Fulbright in Rwanda before medical school. One of the highlights of that year was climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest peak on the continent of Africa. It's a week-long journey with breathtaking sights and at that altitude, quite literally breathtaking. But after all the planning, the days of hiking, and being aged a few years, you finally reach the top. Now, the point I'm about to make is more about the summit rather than the climb, because that would be just a little too cliche. And comparing medical school to a climb, I can't do medical school again, even if only figuratively. But at the top, I remember expecting a Starbucks, a small parade, or at the very least, a big banner I could run through. But actually, because of the altitude sickness, I remember my guide saying, OK, you have seven, seven minutes. After all that work, that's all the time I had to enjoy at the summit. And then you descend. And right now, we're at the peak. But we're going to head down. I remember jotting down how I felt, because you don't get many moments like that. This is one of them. We're on top of the world right now. We're one of the best classes that WMET has ever graduated by any metric higher board scores, more publications, better looking, and more humility. We really are one of the best classes, at least top four. And as Dr. Sawyer will say, the data are the data. So my small request here, as we finish looking around, would be to write down, pull a Dan Waters and gratitude journal this. We are at the top of Kilimanjaro. After looking around, now we're ready to look forward. And as we start to look forward, I just want to remind you that yesterday we were students. Today we're doctors. Tomorrow we're interns. Uh, but you know, now that we're doctors, uh, many things change. A few small ones. First, now at family gatherings, uh, when before we had to field all those questions and could hide behind, I'm just a med student, now we have to look at that rash and confidently declare that it is maculopapular and should probably get checked out by a dermatologist, probably get some kind of steroid. And second, when we can travel again and we're on a plane and that moment comes, the overhead, is there a doctor on board? No more shrinking in your seat and pretending to be asleep, mumbling how you're just a med student. You stand up tall, you put your chin up, and you confidently ask around to see if there's an emergency room doc or an anesthesiologist around, Joaquin, Alexis. In all seriousness, I heard residency is hard and intern year is one of the toughest. So my small request here is actually to our letter of recommendation writers. We never get to see our letters, and of course we don't have to, but maybe in a year or so, during the middle of intern year, say early February, maybe it'll be a good time to remember the people that we have in our corner and maybe see those letters. In closing, I wanna leave you all with one of the timeless truths that I've learned in medicine. Under polarized light, amyloidosis will show apple green birefringence of a Congo red stain. In all seriousness, to each of the villages it took to get each of us to this point, our families and loved ones, as well as WMED faculty and leadership who have all worked years 
and made a pile of sacrifices for this day, we thank you. To my classmates, as you head out, may you have the knowledge and skill of Dr. Shabrain, the kindness and energy of Dr. Cabral, and the grace and passion of Dr. Dixon. I know we all have our own mile-long list of mentors that have each helped contribute to the physicians we will be today. For me, the best part of med school was learning and growing alongside all of you, doing life together for four short years. It's been an honor and a privilege. So thank you and congratulations to the Western Michigan Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine class of 2021. The class that perfected the Zoom interview, that vanquished Step 2 CS, marked by resilience, strength, and optimism. Out of the broken glass, we rise. We are 911, and together we graduate. Thank you, Jesse. I'd like to introduce our founding dean and now Dean Emeritus, Hal Jensen. Thank you, Pete. It is a pleasure to be here today to address the class of 2021 and to introduce our commencement speaker. To the class of 2021 graduates, I offer my sincere congratulations, and I thank you for choosing to come to WMED. As you accepted our offer of admission, each of you expressed the confidence in us as a new medical school that we showed in you as a new medical student or graduate student. Student input and feedback are essential to our commitment to continuous improvement and lifelong learning as an institution. You have given us that input and feedback, and we have used it. Thank you for helping to make this medical school even better. This past year has been unprecedented with challenges, changes, and necessary actions that none of us could ever have anticipated. Thank you for your resiliency and flexibility as we weathered this pandemic together. At the core of our decision making was your health and safety. Thank you for volunteering your time and talents to help vaccinate our community and share COVID-19 information with underserved populations in our community who needed your help the most. Through partnerships with the Kalamazoo Health and Community Services Department, affiliate hospitals, local pharmacies, and community service agencies to administer COVID-19 vaccine, WMED, with student leadership and engagement, has made a lasting impact in Southwest Michigan. The faculty have heard me state that your success as students and graduates is a measure of our success as an institution. Accordingly, this is also a momentous day for the faculty and all of us at the medical school. As a newer medical school, each graduating class contributes to building our legacy and a rich history of excellence. We look forward to your continued successes throughout your careers. Even though you are graduating today, you will always be part of the medical school family and you are always welcome home. 2021 is a special year for several reasons. Most importantly, it marks a milestone for you and your families as you graduate and move on to the next step in your professional careers. For me, it marks the end of my professional career as a physician as I retire from my role as medical school dean and move on to enjoy time with my wife, children, and grandchildren. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your lives during your time at WMED. And 2021 marks the 10-year anniversary of the medical school. We have achieved tremendous success during our first decade because of the active engagement of our students, faculty, and the broader medical school community. We are fulfilling our mission to educate and inspire lifelong learners as we aspire to achieve our vision to be a national leader among medical schools. Together we learn. Together we heal. Together we discover. And together we serve. And today, together, we celebrate you. I have the honor of introducing our keynote commencement speaker, Dr. John M. Dunn, President Emeritus and Professor Emeritus of Western Michigan University. At his first academic convocation and State of the University address at Western Michigan University in 2007, President Dunn sparked community interest in the creation of a medical school that would build upon Kalamazoo's rich history of excellence in education, healthcare, research, and life science exploration. 
With his visionary leadership and relentless passion, he championed the endeavor and garnered broad support, enthusiasm, and engagement. In 2011, Kalamazoo's medical school, WMED, was formed. President Dunn served as the founding chair of the board of directors for the medical school until his retirement in 2017. This medical school is part of his legacy to our learners, our faculty, Western Michigan University, Kalamazoo, and Southwest Michigan. It is my pleasure to introduce my friend and mentor, Dr. John M. Dunn. Thank you, Dean Jensen, for that very, very warm introduction. Greetings, 2021 graduates of the WMU Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine. Thank you for providing me with the opportunity to serve as your commencement speaker today. In the words of Franklin Roosevelt, I will do my best to, quote, be sincere, to be brief, and then to be seated. This day, however, is much too important to let it pass without a few thoughts and a little bit of advice from someone who has a sincere affection for this institution and for you. You are the highly talented scientists and physicians who are well prepared to stride into the world with confidence and a Western Michigan University diploma in hand. As I appear before you today from my home in Oregon, I hope my words will acknowledge your achievements and convey my heartiest congratulations to each of you. Your responsibility today is twofold. First, sit back, relax, and allow us, your faculty, your staff, family, and loved ones to applaud you and your accomplishments. Second, I ask you to observe the Bronco tradition of gratitude, saying thank you to others for their important contributions to your success. Each and every one of you has worked tenaciously as a student, not just in recent years, but throughout your schooling as you prepared yourself for selection by the WMU Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine. You have set aside countless personal pleasures and relaxation in favor of your unwavering commitment to learning, to acquiring more information. The truth is, however, your friends and loved ones have sacrificed right alongside you as they cheered you on and undoubtedly endured more than a few sleepless nights. They worry about you and your well-being, especially during this past year. Are you resting? Are you holding up under such extreme pressure? Are you safe? You know how families can be because they love you and they care deeply about you. So right now I urge you to focus on the encouragement given by those significant others in your life. How could you have reached this monumental milestone without the support of your extended family, including those who might have passed on, but whose spirit still guides and motivates you? I'm talking about spouses and partners and parents and grandparents, and of course, even pesky brothers and sisters. They've all lovingly pulled and pushed you forward toward your goals. So do express your gratitude to them today and every day after if you can. Say thanks, give them a hug, whatever works in your family that sends that message, thank you for your support. And if you will, please join me in a big thank you to Dean Howe Jensen and the spectacular WMED faculty and staff he has assembled to develop this great medical school, which is now, as you know, celebrating its 10th birthday. Let me assure you, without Dean Jensen's exemplary leadership, this school, which has provided so much for you and others, 
would not exist. Thank you, too, to our new dean for choosing to join and lead WMED. We also remember the countless volunteers and benefactors who have given unselfishly to the establishment and the ongoing operations of your school. Their shared beliefs in good medicine, this community, and your own potential have enabled you to stand or to sit here proudly today. Please take time to reflect and to say thanks. To state the obvious, your success is the result of a lot of darn hard work. As, the, as exhausting and demanding as these years have been, you have persevered. Never, at least in my lifetime, have we, have we all been more appreciative and eager to welcome your knowledge, your science-based expertise, and compassion into this world that is definitely in need of healing. WMED, your school, with its commitment to pre precision, innovation, teamwork, small study groups, and cutting edge technology has prepared you very well for both the rigors and rewards of the career that awaits you. When you began your education here, little did you or any of us know that vitally, know how vitally important your knowledge and future medical services would mean to our nation and indeed our planet. The pandemic upended everything, not the least of which was how best to combat a virulent virus from every angle of human ingenuity, from diagnosis to containment, from healthcare practices to the critical roles of research and discovery, from pharmaceutical giants like Pfizer in your own backyard in Kalamazoo, to the production and distribution by the millions of life-saving treatments and vaccines. Science and medicine have led the fight. COVID-19 is a formidable opponent that has demanded and still demands our utmost vigilance. The future is still murky, but it reveals clearly that we need more of you. Dedicated physicians with the latest stuff and scientists capable of innovative research regarding new variants. As a commencement speaker, I'm tasked with the challenge of saying something that might be meaningful. Given that I am not a physician, not a medical scientist, or not a bioengineer, I'm left to find safe ground, which for me is to reflect on my experiences as an educator and a patient who has been on the receiving end of medical services from a variety of providers during my 70 plus years of life. So what follows are some tips for you, things that will help you in your future path as a physician and or scientist. First, give to others. The great inspirational leaders of our time, Mother Teresa and Albert Schweitzer, to name only two, remind us that true happiness can be achieved only through giving. And giving can be defined in many ways. Donating time and talent, sharing wealth, and simply being there for others in time of need. The communities in which you will live need professionals, it is true. They need you. But they also need bright citizens who are willing to serve on committees, provide counsel, and support community initiatives. Practice patience. As you confront challenges, please remember to be kind and considerate of those who might disagree with you. Self-control is paramount, especially during, the season of un during this season of unprecedented contention. Life would be much better for all if we took time to listen, to really listen to one another. 
Although I believe that how the human body is put together is downright amazing, I often think we would all be better off with bigger ears and smaller mouths. And remember, when you are really heated, you're really upset, read that text message one more time. Give it a night's rest before you hit the send button. Believe me, I speak from experience. Be humble. As a Bronco, you will achieve, achieve great things in life, and deservedly, many accolades will come your way. Please remember that all great things are accomplished through team effort. Please acknowledge all members of the healthcare team that work with you side by side. I'm talking about nurses and lab techs and EMTs and yes, maintenance crews. They're all part of the team. They all have unique training and they all bring value to the patient. Be kind. Make a commitment to practice civility, courtesy, and kindness. Although you will have differences with each other, be gentle, thoughtful, and careful in discourse. Avoid using words and actions that unnecessarily hurt others. Henry James once observed that three things in human life are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind, and the third is to be kind. I also encourage you to keep calm and carry on. Not all days will be easy. As a leader in your field, you may sometimes be judged harshly and perhaps unfairly. When that happens, dig deep. Lean into resistance. Or in the words of Winston Churchill, and I quote, if you feel like you're going through hell, keep going, end quote. When you're wrong, when you have made a mistake or offended others, and you will, say that you are sorry and mean it. And when disagreements occur, and of course they will, avoid keeping score. Now here's some advice I'm quite certain you're not expecting. The advice is go to funerals. Your professional objective is to promote health and sustain life, and you are well prepared to do so. But along the way, you will lose patients, loved ones, and friends. Often a time when your own life's demands seem at their greatest. I have learned through the years that the most powerful, the most powerful demonstration of respect for the deceased and their survivors is to attend the funeral, to be there. The message is clear, both life and death are to be respected and honored. Another tip, stay healthy. You are entering a demanding profession that will require long hours, and extended periods of concentration and focus. As a physician, you will also be viewed as a model for confidence and good health. This is not to say that you should focus on having the perfect shape or form or always knowing the right answers. Guard all aspects of your own well-being. Take time to exercise. Get adequate rest. Practice good nutrition, continue to learn, meditate, and hold on tightly to relationships that nurture your soul and spirit. Others will look to you for guidance and direction, and of course, they will also be observing your habits. Giving advice is more convincing if you are following the same. Human touch. The pandemic has stolen much of what we once valued as a society, the need for and the power provided by face-to-face -face interaction and human touch. Telehealth and Zoom conferences may be safe and efficient and necessary, but much is lost as we patients fiddle with volume buttons and camera angles. Not long ago, 
Before the pandemic, I was being seen in person by a physician who was performing some neurological tests on me. He had his black bag, a hammer, and proceeded to do his thing. I commented in passing, this is great. You actually touched me. With a deep sigh, he looked up and said, is it that bad? Meaning, has medicine evolved to the point where bedside manner and might even become obsolete? We both lamented how the pandemic has impacted our lives and how the increasing reliance on instrumentation and machines has mitigated the value of palpation and human touch in evaluating and reassuring the patient. Hopefully, Given the training that you have received and the increase in the effectiveness of vaccines, we can return one day to medical practice that allows for a smiling face and a handshake. As I end my presentation, let me emphasize again how proud I am of the class of 2021. You are now alumni and ambassadors for this world-class medical school. Your future accomplishments and successes will reflect on you and your family, but also on WMED, its founders, its faculty, and staff. And what you have learned so far is significant, but I hope you realize that your edification is still in its infancy. John Wooden, one of the greatest basketball coaches of our time, once observed, and I quote, it's what you learn after you know it all that counts, end quote. We are confident that you will choose your next steps wisely and well. Share the knowledge you have gained here to enrich the health and lives of those you serve. Remain an eager learner for the rest of your life. Read. Listen carefully to the wisdom of others. Reach beyond what you know for new possibilities in treatment or discovery. Enjoy and embrace what lies ahead. And please, please stay connected, stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dunn. Now is the time for the diploma presentation for our advanced degree programs. I'd like to introduce Dr. Tim Garrow, who is the professor of the Department of Biomedical Sciences and program director for the Masters of Science in Biomedical Sciences degree program. Thank you, Dr. Zimkowski. The Master of Science in Biomedical Sciences degree program is designed specifically to prepare students for success in medical school. Upon completion of this degree, students are invited to begin the medical program the following year. We are confident these students will go on to make significant contributions to the field of medicine. To honor each graduate, we will be sharing their photo. In lieu of in-person applause, please feel free to leave congratulatory messages in the comments section. Daniela Pinto Piaras. Rosemary Baraga Salinas. Jade Allen Woods Dawson. Congratulations to the class of 2021 graduates of the Masters of Science in Biomedical Sciences degree program. Now I welcome to the podium Program Chief and Professor for the Program in Medical Engineering, Dr. Tycho Fredericks. Thank you, Dr. Zinkowski. Medical engineering is focused on the interface between the traditional disciplines of medicine and engineering, where all the exciting advances in medical device technology and innovative procedures are occurring. Graduates of this Master of Science in Medical Engineering program are prepared for careers creating new medical devices, diagnostic technologies, treatments, and processes to improve healthcare. This year, we graduate two students from our program. Kelsey Cushway. Mitchell Kenter. Congratulations to the class of 2021 graduates of the Masters of Science in Medical Engineering degree program. Now is the time for hooding and the conferring of Doctor of Medicine degrees. 
Hooding ceremonies are traditions in medicine carried out by institutions of higher education to recognize students who have earned the Doctor of Medicine degree. We've taken a few liberties with today's ceremony and want to recognize the accomplishment, tradition, and honorary hooder. Graduates were given the opportunity to invite a physician family member, friend, or mentor to serve as their honorary hooder today. We want to thank the honorary hooders as they help welcome and support our graduates into the medical profession. Please feel free to congratulate your graduate in the comments as their name is announced. Dean Termulin, the Medical School Board of Directors, deans, department chairs, faculty, and guests, I'm honored to present to you for hooding the Western Michigan University Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine Class of 2021. To honor each graduate, we'll be sharing their photo, honorary hooder, and future plans. In lieu of in-person applause, please feel free to leave congratulatory messages in the comments section. Dr. Michael Abergi. Dr. Nicole Ahmed. Dr. Bilal Asi. Dr. Pooja Avula. Dr. Jacob Baxter. Dr. Marine Bollier. Dr. Christina Byers Spencer. Dr. Albert Chen. Dr. Lucy Chen. Dr. Abigail Chang. Dr. John Chinchen. Dr. Kevin Ching. Dr. Jesse Chow. Dr. Ben Kors. Dr. Zach Cowan. Dr. Camille Swickla. Dr. Nastasia Drozdik. Dr. Monica Ellis. Dr. Rachel Gallimore. Dr. Fatima Gandur. Dr. Anmol Hans. Dr. Joshua Hekmadja. Dr. Alyssa Hernandez. Dr. Rashini Hayaretna. Dr. Alexis Jones. Dr. Katie Jones. Dr. Philip Key. Dr. Ryan Khalil. Dr. Adil Khan. Dr. Jinju Kim. Dr. Yuri Kim. Dr. Caitlin King. Dr. Anoop Kotadia. Dr. Juliana Lautenschlager. Dr. Ariana Leatherer. Dr. Christopher Levy. Dr. Terrence Lee. Dr. Zainab Mahmood. Dr. Sean Manowar. Dr. Patrick McCreesh. 
Dr. Kelsey Miller. Dr. Seth Moffat. Dr. Jacob Morton. Dr. Makala Neela Canton. Dr. Alex Paschke. Dr. Keshav Patel. Dr. Shiv Patel. Dr. Joaquin Peralta. Dr. Jessica Ramsey. Dr. Josh Rarick. Dr. Lucas Rich. Dr. Brenda Riali. Dr. Jasmine Sadian. Dr. Paya Saraf. Dr. Jessica Sasek. Dr. Haley St. Louis. Dr. Christine Stevens. Dr. Lauren Strzeski. Dr. Stephanie Sesniak. Dr. Claire Tanager. Dr. Aaron Thon. Dr. Natasha Trainer. Dr. Christine Tranvu. Dr. Taylor Tribbett. Dr. Marie Tysman. Dr. Anna Vertito. Dr. Bill Wames. Dr. Daniel Waters. Dr. Cameron Werner. Dr. Josh White. Dr. Jalen Zhou. Thank you. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ross Driscoll, Assistant Professor in the Departments of Medicine and Medical Ethics, Humanities and Law, and the Chairperson of the Faculty Academic Council. Thank you, Dr. Zemkowski, Dean Termulin, the Faculty of Western Michigan University, Homer Stryker, MD, School of Medicine, certifies that these candidates have dutifully completed the requirements of their degree programs. Biomedical science students. On behalf of the Western Michigan University Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine Board of Directors, I confer onto each of you the degree Master of Science in Biomedical Sciences. Congratulations. Medical engineering students, on behalf of the Western Michigan University Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine Board of Directors, I confer onto you the degree Master of Science in Medical Engineering. Congratulations. Medical students, on behalf of the Western Michigan University Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine Board of Directors, I confer onto each of you the degree Doctor of Medicine. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Dear guests, the oath of Hippocrates is a symbol of the medical profession and perhaps the most widely known of Greek medical texts. The Hippocratic Oath requires a new physician to swear upon the healing gods that he or she will uphold professional ethical standards. 
Over the centuries, it's been rewritten often to suit the values of different cultures that have been influenced by Greek medicine. A medical oath declares the ethos of medicine and includes solemn promises that identify the covenant relationship between physicians, other healthcare providers, patients, and society as a whole. During the very first weeks of medical school, students in the MD class of 2021 created their own class oath, which enabled the students to reflect on the principles they feel are important to embrace as medical professionals. By writing their own words, the oath created the foundation for their medical education and medical career. I'd like to welcome president of the MD class of 2021, Patrick McCreesh III, who will lead the MD graduates as they recite the class oath. Dr. McCreesh. In recognition of the honor and privilege of being a member of the Western Michigan University Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine, class of 2021, I devote myself to the practice of medicine and solemnly swear the following oath. I pledge to adhere to and abide by a standard worthy of my peers, the school, the community, and the medical profession. I pledge to respect patient autonomy and to collaborate in creating patient-centered, humanistic care. I pledge to uphold the bonds of trust between myself and my patient. I pledge to educate and empower patients to be advocates of their own health. I pledge to advance the frontiers of medical knowledge with the goal of continuous improvement of patient care. I pledge to resist the vices of arrogance, apathy, and avarice. I shall do no harm. I pledge to demonstrate humility by recognizing my own limitations and to look to my inner professional team for guidance. I pledge to serve all patients and be vigilant in the service of those who are most vulnerable. I pledge to establish and maintain an inclusive environment that welcomes individuals of all communities and identities. I pledge to extend my advocacy beyond the clinic to the community as a whole with deference to the privilege our position affords. I pledge to devote myself to the alleviation of human suffering. Above all, I commit to a life of service. We pledge this oath individually and collectively. Thank you all for joining us today. While the worldwide pandemic has kept us apart physically, the WMED community supports you wherever you go, and you can always return home. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe and take care. Congratulations to the WMED class of 2021. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, Western Michigan University Homer Stryker, MD, School of Medicine, Class of 2021. Remember, it's always a great day to be a Bronco. Congratulations, Class of 2021.